Did you find Robin? Yep. But she's not with you. Yeah, that's because she's still in a hotel room in Rochester. Oh. Did you guys fight? I didn't talk to her. I thought it'd be a little tactless considering she was making out with another guy. What? No, there's gotta be a mistake. No, Elizabeth. I'm the one that made a mistake. I'm here dealing with Robin's postpartum depression by arguing with her family. Burying my soul through her friends, taking care of our baby girl, and she's dealing with it by sleeping with another guy. You know, it's ironic. When Robin and I first got together, she gave me so much grief about chasing women and how she's the one cheating on me. It's a little more complicated than that. Yeah, you know, Elizabeth, you're right. It is a little more complicated than I see Robin has HIV, and I wonder if she even told the guy. You know, maybe she just thought she'd keep it quiet, make it a little more simple. I mean, who knows what's going on in her head? Patrick, I know this is upsetting for you. Wow, really? I think? I'm not trying to defend Robin, but I did read all that information on postpartum. It's not uncommon for women with this condition to have an affair. Is that supposed to make me feel better, Elizabeth? No, but it, it's supposed to help you understand that it's not about rejecting you. It's a symptom of a serious illness. Okay, okay, so I see. So I'm not supposed to take it personally, right? Is that it? Just like you didn't take it personally when Lucky cheated on you when he was addicted to pills? I'm sorry. I was out of line. It's okay. Actually, it's a really good comparison. I know exactly how you feel right now. Sick to my stomach. And like the world, as you know, it has shattered into a million pieces. God. You know, of all the things that I... Of all the things I thought I was going to confront when I got to that hotel room, this never crossed my mind. You know, women with postpartum, they feel overwhelmed. They feel like they're failures as wives and mothers, so they create this, this fantasy life where none of it exists, and they can be whomever they want. Clinically, intellectually, I get all that. But I can't get the image of Robin making out with another guy out of my head. You. She loves Emma. The two of you are what she always wanted. A wonderful husband and a healthy baby. That's part of the problem, this unrealistic belief that everything should be perfect. Yeah, well, she sure took a sledgehammer to that notion, didn't she? <sighs> when Robin comes home, the two of you can discuss it. No. Elizabeth, no. I'm not going to talk about this, neither can you. Nobody can know that I found Robin with another man, especially Robin. 